Hi, welcome to the Quipster Film Review Podcast. I have to actually savor that one. That is probably the last time that I introduce an episode of this show this way. As you may know, on the previous episode, I did ask for you, the listener, to send me ideas because of difficulties that I had with being able to comprehensively be able to keep up with a new film review show. I received quite a few emails, some private messages on Twitter, uh, even a Facebook response, and a lot of really great ideas. In fact, I don't think there was a single bad idea that was out there. Enough ideas, I think, to have 30 different shows and be very content with doing almost any one of them. But the people that did write to me, many of whom said, regardless of whatever the topic will be going forward, if I changed it at all, they were going to continue listening, which I was very, very heartened by. So thank you for saying that. I really do appreciate that. But about 80% of the people that did respond were really an audience I wasn't necessarily expecting to be the dominant audience for this show, which are people who primarily listen to around the world in 80s movies. And that was surprising because this show's been around longer. It tends to get more downloads overall. But the listeners of the 80s show are the ones who really took the time, that felt compelled enough to write to me. And that says to me quite a bit about them and about what kind of audience that I do want to cater to. I want to cater to the ones who feel the most passionate about whatever that I do. So with that in mind, the future of the show will be a little bit different in that I'm going to be covering a specific type of movie. In this case, I've decided that it will be a 90s movie show. However, I will also be covering new movies as well, basically ones done from an 80s or 90s perspective. Revival movies, sequels to franchises that may have started in the 80s or 90s, what have you. So the amount of new movies that I do on this show is probably not going to be any different than if I had just stuck to films that were just new releases, but the emphasis is a little bit different. So what will the show be called? Well, because it's going to cover primarily 90s movies, and there will be some newer movies for those franchises that continued beyond the 90s, including ones that are going to be out in theaters, the show would be called To the 90s and Beyond, because we're going to be going beyond the 90s on occasion as well. To the 90s and Beyond, kind of a play off of To Infinity and Beyond by, of course, Buzz Lightyear from a film series that spawned from the 1990s, appropriately enough, Toy Story. I thought it was appropriate also because it comments on Around the World in 80s movies to go to the 90s and then beyond. It seems to fit, at least to me. I hope you agree. So to kick off the show, I will be covering in the upcoming episodes films from the Mortal Kombat franchise because there is a brand new Mortal Kombat film So I will be covering those 90s Mortal Kombat films as well as the new one in the upcoming episodes. So I hope that you'll look forward to that. I certainly am. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that particular series. I like the games, but it'll definitely be fun delving into that franchise I haven't thought about in quite some time. So the nostalgic feels are certainly there. If you feel compelled enough and you want to write to me to let me know what ideas you have for films of the 90s that you would like me to cover sooner rather than later, I definitely would like to hear from you. You can write to me at quipster at gmail.com. That's quipster with a W, Q-W-I-P-S-T-E-R at gmail.com. The format of each particular show will be very familiar to those of you who listen to Around the World in 80s movies. Deep dives, probably about 20 to 30 minutes covering the history of the movies from their inception to what we see on the screen and their legacy beyond. So basically a film history show that also will contain my personal opinions on them as movies. I'm really looking forward to doing that, and I want to take one last time to thank you. It really meant a lot to me to have people reach out and let me know what they not only think of the shows that I've done, but also encourage me with whatever I do henceforth. I hope that I'm able to do the kind of show that you continue wanting to listen to from here to infinity (laughs) and beyond.